Hey guys, it's Danico Pintoa, and today I have an announcement to make. I collaborated with the online learning platform Skillshare to have not just one class, but five classes with them. These classes are Introduction to Adobe Animate Essentials, Creating an Animated Storyboard from Scratch, Designing Memorable Characters, 2D Character Animation with Adobe Animate, and finally, 2D Backgrounds. It's pretty much a summary of how I go about certain stages within my animation work. So I was reached out by two individuals that represent Skillshare, Justin Barker and Grace Adeyomo, who brought the idea of having an animation related class for the next batch of classes. They asked if I was down to do not just one class, but a few other classes covering a bit of drawing, storyboarding, and digital background painting. Pretty much multiple departments within an animation production. They also let me know that they also wanted to prioritize Adobe Animate from the Creative Cloud as a software of choice. Which I felt was quite interesting because Adobe Animate, or back then when I used it called Flash, was probably the first animation program that I used for a long time. I made Flash cartoons back when I was a teenager, and it actually propelled me into the animation industry. So why did I decide to do a Skillshare class? Honestly, I was reluctant at first because animation is really dense. There's a lot of things that I can talk about with animation and I spent almost two years working on my own 2D animation course that I sell on Gumroad. It would be so much work knowing that I also maintain a YouTube channel, which time to time I think about quitting. The more I talked with the individuals at Skillshare, getting to know what they had in mind, the more I understood Skillshare as a platform and the possible audience that they're targeting. And the type of audience that they're targeting are not necessarily hardcore animation enthusiasts. They're really just hobbyists or people who are slightly interested in animation. So this means that things are going to be a bit more bite-sized. I didn't have to get too detailed about the academic discussion of animation because honestly, that can be overwhelming to someone who is just a tiny bit curious about animation. I actually enjoy talking about what I do to people who know nothing about animation or what I do because it's like pitching a show idea. How do you get someone from the outside interested so we're on the same level and that they're hooked? How would I use another analogy to life that many people are familiar with that can be applied to animation? The challenge was to make the process of how I do my animation production simplified enough to get the everyday person just curious and interested about what I do, and hopefully to inspire them to make stuff of their own. The great thing is that I didn't have to make the class or the course completely by myself. I was actually having meetings with Skillshare, going over the curriculum, the outline, things to be touched, things to be discussed. It was a highly collaborative effort. So when we were making these classes, I had to revisit my high school self who knew nothing about you know, the correct terminology, the jargon, or the rules of animation but was self-taught using Adobe Flash and discovering things by trial and error and talking to the online community. And I think that approach is a lot more fun than trying to find the correct terminology or the by the bucks approach to animation education. Knowing that Skillshare would do most of the editing, the shooting and the overall curation of the curriculum. And again, we developed this together. It really did feel more like a collaborative process instead of me doing everything. Also, I've never done something like this for a learning platform. You know, be in front of a camera, look cool, drawing on a sketchbook for B-rolls and animating while on set, while I was being shot live. At this point, it was more for the experience. So again, I did five different classes two that are animation related, one for coming up with an idea and storyboarding it, one for character designing and drawing, and then another for 2D background painting and how I illustrate my backgrounds for my work. Each class is about an hour long with lessons ranging from three to 10 minutes long. For each lesson, I talk about why each stage is important in my process, as well as a demo from finishing each of these stages, each of these projects from beginning to end. I talk about the importance of planning, writing your own ideas, understanding your ideas, your characters, your world, to the finished product where we see our work colored and animated. With Skillshare, students can actually upload their work on the discussion boards and share it with others. And again, these lessons, these classes are highly edited and edited down to something that's more condensed and more bite-sized. So some of you may be asking what is the difference between my 2D animation course that I saw on my Gumroad page and the classes I made with Skillshare. 
My 2D animation course is more like a video collection or a digital book. And that one is geared for people who are serious about their 2D animation education. It's a lot more specific. I talk about the industry techniques and niche things that I learned during my education. So there's more academic stuff. It's more specific and it contains hours of demos, lectures, you know, making a shot from its rough drawings to a fully composite short, as well as offline versions of my educational content on my YouTube channel. Now, the classes that I have with Skillshare, I would say is a more fun or casual intro of what it can be like getting into an animation production. It's more on the emphasis on making things for the sake of making things without heavily thinking about the rules. I avoid being excessive with the terminology or the academic philosophies about animation. And I talk about how I problem solve things on the spot. Again, it was geared for an audience who are slightly curious about animation without being overwhelmed by the technicality of the rules of animation. And the, for the people that view my Skillshare classes, if they become more interested, if they want to get more serious about learning animation, they can go to my YouTube channel, they can invest in my 2D animation course, or they can look elsewhere too, because there's a lot of information out there and I encourage everyone to get education from everywhere. And that's all I wanted to talk about. If you guys are interested in checking out my Skillshare class and if you have a Skillshare account, please feel free to check it out. I'm also going to provide a link below that gives you a one month offer with Skillshare. I think I would also recommend this to someone who is slightly interested in animation and what I do and not be overwhelmed. This is more of a bite-sized summarized experience. And again, if you want to hear more technical things from me or something that's more in depth, then I have my 2D animation course that I personally sell on Gumroad. I would also recommend Skillshare because they have a bunch of other classes outside of animation. So there's pixel art, there's illustration, there's music, there's filmmaking. And outside of that, you have things like personal organization, budget and money saving, speaking and presentation skills, and things like cooking. Skillshare allows you to track your progress. Again, I want to thank you all for your support and following this channel. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't think the Skillshare thing would have happened. And I also want to thank them for reaching out to me. And the only way I could pay them back is maybe you guys can support their service. It doesn't have to be my class, but there are other classes that are worth checking out. Anyways, thank you. Bye.